Hi everyone, the project I'm currently working on is taking a little bit longer than I expected. It has multiple pores and with the weather being a bit cool at the moment, they're taking a bit longer to cure. Now so you guys don't miss out on a video, I found something else to make. So with today being Friday, I've only got one day to make something for you guys. So I had a look around my workshop to see if I could find something, and I found this. Now this is the blank that I use for when I turn a fabric egg. Now since there's no video of me making this blank, I'll give you a quick rundown as to how I do it. The first thing I do is cut all the fabric into circles until I've got a big stack. Now once I have enough, I'll start putting them into a container. Now I'll do only a few at a time and then add some resin, then some more fabric, then some more resin, and then eventually I'll grab that container and I'll put it into my vacuum chamber. Now the vacuum chamber pulls all the air that's inside the fabric out so that way we don't have any troubles when we go to cast it. Now once that's done, I'll put that container into my pressure pot, I'll fill it full of air and it'll squish those bubbles really tiny so that you can't see them. And then once that's done, I can pull it out and then I've got myself a blank. So now that you know how I get to this stage, you're probably wondering what I'm gonna make. Let me give you a hint. Can anyone guess? So for those of you who guessed a ring, you're absolutely right. Now I don't have to use the whole blank for this, I just need this end section. So what I'm going to do is turn that down, put a hole in the middle. Once that's done, I'll be able to put it on this mandrel and start making the ring. Check out how cool these spirals look. I think I might have to save these for another project. So we now have our ring blank and the patterns of the fabric look awesome. So the next thing I need to do is mount this to the mandrel and then we can start shaping the ring.
Now that I'm happy with my shape, it's time to give it a sand. After sanding the outside of the ring, I needed to find a way of holding it so I could sand the inside, so I decided to drill a hole in this piece of soft pine. Well I've got to admit, for a last minute project idea, this ring turned out bloody amazing. Now I'm not sure if anyone will want it, but I'm going to throw it in my store. Now the ring size is a 9.5 or 19.4 millimeters. Now I'm hoping to get my project finished for next week, and if all goes well, it should look amazing. So make sure you have the notification bell turned on, because you won't want to miss that one. Well I think that's enough of me talking now, so let's check out my ring. most of you guys would love to see me try this on but unfortunately with my sausage fingers that's the best we're gonna get what do you think Luna do you like it